When I was 16 years old and I told my guidance counselor that I was going to be a dancer, she said, what kind of dance do you do? And I said, Bharath not to Indian classical dance. I was told that that wasn't going to be possible. I don't want another 16-year-old being told she can't be what she wants to be. My name is Nova Bhattacharya, and I'm a Bharatanatyam dancer. I was a child with a very active imagination, and in Bharatanatyam, there are all these stories of this mythic world that is constantly invented and interpreted and imagined by dancers. All of these forms have a really deep practice of abstracting the human experience. So it was a really wonderful place to escape to. The move I will show you is a namaskaram. It's the opening ritual. It's a way that the dancer connects to the earth. It's a way that the dancer invites the audience to go on a journey of shared imagination. In that moment, the dancer starts to imagine the earth as a mother. That feminist approach to reclaiming rituals and reinventing tradition is really important. The classical canon is the classical canon. It's always going to be there. And yet, I'm fascinated by the poetry of dance. So I start to look at all that and go, OK, how can we take this little piece of it and this little taste of it and this color and create something that hasn't been said before? It's a building block dance style, so there's a whole series of steps that then you can do one step over and over again, but then you can do a whole different set of hands over top of that same step. There's footwork that creates rhythms. There's a whole series of hand gestures that I tend to use in a, in a way that isn't literal. Things that the style really are the most known for are, are these details, the facial expressions, the hand gestures, the footwork, the rhythm, and yet it's all those elements that are put together that make it what it is. You are generally living inside these rhythmic cycles and you're hitting, you're hitting beats. And that's actually one of the things I've experimented with a lot was taking the movement vocabulary off of its really strict rhythmic structures so that I could achieve a, more of a dynamic movement range, but still keep coming back at certain points and, and connecting in with that rhythm. in the trajectory of my career, I've had quite the spectrum of response. There are some people who see the work and go, yeah, we see you reinventing it, we see you taking it into the future, and we see you finding a way for it to be relevant in its Canadian context. And there are people who say what I'm doing doesn't look like Indian dance. There's always going to be a spectrum of response, and I think traditions are alive and traditions are what we invent. Yeah.